Hi everyone, so it's just my voice today. Uh, you're gonna need paper and a pencil and the WALT says identify how many tens and ones are in a number. So you've been doing this already. So this is just to finish that off. So on this video, there are two reasoning questions and there are two problem solving questions. You are going to need to give yourself time to work them out so sorry about this but you will need to be pausing the video for this okay so i will read out the question you will then need to pause it write down your answer and then start it again to move on to the next question i've also been a little bit mean because i haven't given you the answers on this one I want to see the answers uploaded to your portfolio okay so our reasoning is here this is the first reasoning so it says remember to use because so I will read it to you then you will need to pause the video and work it out before we move on to the next question so it says the children are completing the part whole models. We call them part part whole models. So we've got Tommy, who has got the number 32, and he has partitioned it into three and two. We've got Rosie, who has got the number 29, and she's partitioned it into a part of 20 and a part of nine. And we've got Jack, who has got the whole of 27, and he's partitioned it into 10, 10, and seven. So this says, are they correct? Explain why. So you will need to identify who is correct and who isn't correct and why they are correct or they aren't correct. Okay, so are they correct? You will need to say yes because or no because. So at this point, you need to pause the video work out the answer, write it down before you play again and we'll move on to the next question. So pause the video now. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and wrote down your answer for the first reasoning question. We're going to do the same here. So this is the second reasoning question. So I will read it to you and then you'll need to pause the video and write down your answer before you then play the video and move on to the next one. So Dora and Amir both try to build the same number. So Dora and Amir, they're trying to build the number 42. So who is correct? So can you explain the mistake that has been made? So they're both trying to build the number 42. So who is correct? So you will need to write Dora because if Dora is correct or Amir because if Amir is correct. OK, so at this point, you need to pause the video and write down your answer and then play it again when you're ready to move on to the next question. So pause the video now. Okay, hopefully you had time to pause the video and write down your second reasoning answer. So this is are problem solving questions. We've got two problem solving questions and this is the first one. So it has got there a part part whole model, but one of the parts has been covered up and it says, what's the missing number? Okay, so again, you're going to need to pause the video, write down your answer and then move on when you're ready and you've written down that answer so pause the video now okay hopefully you had time to pause the video and write down that last answer so this is the final question for your maths so it's a problem solving question it says 
I have three tens and eight ones. What number am I? And it says prove it. OK, so you could prove it uh, with a number sentence or you could do a drawing to prove it. it. Says I have three tens and eight ones. What number am I? And prove it. So this is where the video ends. So you'll have time to work that one out. So when you upload to your portfolio, you should have four answers to the question. So two reasoning and two problem solving. So I should see four answers to your questions. OK, thank you, guys. And I look forward to seeing your pictures of your work on your portfolio. Thank you.